Hello, boys and girls. Welcome back to our Read Aloud. Today, we're going to be reading chapter 22, No Tomato Juice. Bat, it was Israel in the parking lot. Is Thor okay? Bat nodded, which made the tears brimming in his eyes spill down his cheeks. Thor is fine, he said. He's right here. He patted the sling. Bat, buddy, I really don't think it's a good idea to bring that thing to your sister's play, Dad said. Thor isn't a thing. Only the thought of the frightened kit tucked back into his sling kept Bat from yelling the words. Okay, Bat, said Mom in her soothing voice. Let's go home. She opened the rear door of their station wagon and ushered Bat inside. Janie was already sitting in the car in the seat next to Bat. She had changed out of the hoop skirt and crown and back into her regular clothes, but she still had her makeup on and her arms were still crossed. She didn't say anything to Bat when she got into the car. She didn't say anything when mom got into the front seat and started the engine. And she didn't say anything the whole ride home. Not one word about how Thor had sprayed in the middle of her solo, clearing out the auditorium. Not one word about how Bat had ruined the whole play. Nothing. Bat had wished in the past that Janie would stop talking so much. Right now though, Bat wished his sister would say something, anything. Keeping that skunk kit was the worst idea ever, Janie said when they got home, before she got out of the car. I wish mom had never brought him home. Anything, Bat thought, except that. Bat had a terrible night's sleep. It was particularly because, par not particularly, partially because he still smelled a little bit like skunk spray. Mom had washed his clothes and had given him a mixture of hydrogen peroxide, baking soda, and dish soap to scrub with in the shower. And Bat had washed with it from head to toe, even though Thor hadn't sprayed directly on him. She'd also called everyone she could think of who was at the show and might have gotten sprayed to tell them about the recipe. It's the only thing that works, she said over and over again on the phone. No, tomato juice doesn't really work, she said. And again and again, Bat heard her say, I'm so sorry this happened, so, so sorry. But it wasn't really the skunky smell that kept Bat from sleeping. At the breakfast table, it was obvious that Bat wasn't the only one who had had a poor night's sleep. Janie's eyes were red rimmed and puffy. And mom too looked tired, yawning over her steaming mug of coffee. Janie refused to eat anything at all. I have no appetite, she insisted, even when mom offered to make her chocolate chip pancakes. At least have a piece of fruit, Mom insisted. Half the school was there last night, you know, Janie said to Bat. Everyone is going to be making jokes all day, probably for the rest of the year about my performance stinking. Your performance didn't stink, Bat started to say. He wanted to tell Janie that her performance had been wonderful, that because she was so very wonderful, he'd forgotten to keep Thor tightly tucked in. Because she'd been so great, he practically forgotten that he was in a theater at all. But before he could say any of this, he shoved back her chair. She shoved back her chair and stood up. I might as well go to school and get it over with, she said. She took an apple from the bowl on the table and grabbed her lunch bag from the counter. See you later, Mom, she said. She didn't say goodbye to Bat. She didn't even look at him. Aww. Janie and Bat didn't always get along. Bat knew that sometimes Janie thought he was annoying and that she didn't always love taking care of him. Sometimes she got mad, and sometimes he got mad, but this, it felt different. This felt huge. All right, and that's the end. Chapter 23 is called Company. Have a great day, friends. Learn a lot. Thanks for joining us.